I'm Tyson Holmes from the Sunshine Coast Fire, and this is the Hyundai Queensland State League. Welcome to the Hyundai Queensland State League Highlight Show, brought to you by Hyundai, Red Rooster, and Football Queensland. And it was semi-finals weekend in the 2009 Hyundai Queensland State League, and we have highlights from both matches. Firstly, from Perry Park, where the Premier's Brisbane Strikers took on their biggest rivals, Olympic FC. One win each in matches between these two this season, but the right to go straight through to the grand final was at stake here, along with the obvious bragging rights. The very experienced Paul Eldridge was in charge of the match, and play got underway on a clear warm night in Brisbane. The striker started brightly enough and dominated early possession. A Shea Hughes free kick found the head of Steve Unsworth, but just wide of Matt Ham's right hand post. Olympic midfielder Jack Petrie passed to his captain Chris Hagel, who crossed the ball into the box. The shot was met by the incoming Andy Orr, but well blocked by Ryan Pearce. Only one minute later, Petrie collected the ball 40 metres out on the left and cut in field. He looked up and chipped towards Brad Lacey. As Pierce came off his line, Lacey got to the ball first, teared into the net to open the scoring for the visitors. Some ball watching by strikers there, but full credit to the vision of Petrie and the run of Lacey. The strikers responded well and Unsworth dribbled past Olympic fullback Nick Hume and picked out Luke Morley. However, Morley skewed his finish wide of the Olympic goal. Matt Ham was certainly busy and kept his side in front with a number of good saves. Firstly here from Shea Hughes after a great pass by Scott McNichol. Then from a free kick from John Costello. Then just prior to half time, Hughes again, who nearly caught Ham too far forward. Half time, an Olympic in front, one goal to nil. It took only one minute of the second half for the game to come alive. Andrew all went past Jeremy Harris and squared a ball back for Alex Panich. Panic made no mistake, sliding the ball past Pierce to make the score 2-0 to Olympic. Great work by Orr and a typically classy finish by the ex-Brisbane Strikers player in Panic. All smiles in the Olympic camp. Strikers knew they had to attack now and Hughes immediately set up Morley. Ham though unbeatable. Then a second save from McNichol, who shot too close to the keeper. And Costello's left foot shot from the rebound, also blocked by some desperate defending. Olympic did create chances, and a cross by Hagel to Lacey couldn't find the final touch and went just wide of the far post. In the 72nd minute substitute, Warren Moon sent a dipping free kick towards the penalty spot, where Michael Butters reacted quickest to direct a header past Matt Ham, who had come off his line. Excellent delivery from Moon, but all credit to Butters, who reacted quickest of all to bring his team back into the game. Olympics still looked to put the game beyond reach, and Orr shot and forced Pierce to save only for the ball to fall to Orr again, who shot across the face of the striker's goal. In injury time, strikers nearly equalised. A lofted pass from Hughes was nodded on by Butters towards Weber, whose first touch pass sent Unsworth racing towards goal. Ham an outstanding save with his legs. And as if that was only a practice for the real thing, a minute later, Hughes found Weber. He raced towards Ham again and almost in slow motion knocked his shot past Ham towards the far post. 
The ball flicked that post and into the back of the net. An escape from the strikers with almost the last touch of the game. But remarkable composure shown by Weber. Seconds after the restart, the whistle signaled the end of the 90 minutes and the need for extra time to separate these two. The first half was relatively incident free, but the strikers seemed most likely to score a winner, with Matt Ham kept very busy. In the second stanza, with three minutes left on the clock, Costello wide on the left crossed. And once again, Michael Butters read it better than anybody else, looping a header over Matt Ham and into the net for the winner. Michael Butters with real commitment, making himself the hero of Perry Park. When referee Paul Elridge blew the full-time whistle, the strikers had prevailed and earned the right to host the 2009 Grand Final. And after the match, we managed to speak to the winning coach, Stu McLaren. Tonight, obviously, uh, we got ourselves into a difficult situation, 2-0 down. It seemed to be one of those ones where we got punished for the very few mistakes or the slight mistakes that we made. But fair play to Olympic, obviously, they capitalise on, on those opportunities and that's what final football is all about. But again, as they have done throughout the season, my boys stuck to the task. They, they never let the situation get the better of them. They didn't panic. They applied themselves very well. And, and I would like to say probably for 100 out of the 120 minutes, we were the team that, that looked more likely to win the game and looked to, to be more positive. So I think we, we got our just desserts in the end. Uh, obviously, it was always going to be a, a tough game. I mean, you, you look over the course of the, the season, both us and Olympic went toe to toe, um, and that was reflected in the game tonight. So, uh, we're just delighted to, to not have to, you know, run the sort of second chance saloon in the preliminary.